Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Insomniac. So, today is Friday the 15th of April. So, happy Good Friday, if <laughs> that's how you say it. <laughs> um, so, on Tuesday, I had my halter monitor fitted. Um, you can probably see it just a little bit here. Um, and to be honest, it's actually been quite uncomfortable wearing it. Um, I do react to plasters. I didn't think to mention that to them. Um, I usually react within a few minutes of wearing a plaster. It starts irritating my skin. So my skin is looking bad at the moment. But we're halfway through. So hopefully, um, with just a few more days to go, um, I'll just have to just deal with it and um, just treat it afterwards maybe they might be able to recommend something for me to use um that would be great hmm so yeah not much has happened um as you know um i had the halter monitor fitted on the 12th which was tuesday um that was in the afternoon so i mean the great <laughs> The funny thing about that actually was I was panting like anything when I got there because who thinks to put cardi a cardiology department up two flights of stairs plus actually three, three flights of stairs altogether because you've got to get onto the other floor. Granted, I could have taken a lift for that, um, but I didn't. Um, and then there were two flights of stairs to actually get up to the department. It was crazy. And um, I was saying to the two other people that, um, that were waiting for their appointments that um, fancy having cardiology like on a level like that, you would expect it to be um, ground floor, what I would. Um, the other per one of the other people that were waiting there, they were having some kind of lung function test. Um, but yeah, every they were a little older than me, but everyone seemed really nice on the ward waiting for their um well on the department waiting for their appointment sorry my um what's it called arms getting a little tired um i was supposed to do the video on wednesday to be completely honest i've been exhausted like really really tired um it's taken everything to just do the video now actually if I'm being completely honest because I just feel like sleeping um, I had a bath it's a very very hot day today um, I don't know uh, I've forgotten how to get the temperature up on uh, my watch and I'm using my phone at the moment so I did hear it was supposed to be close to 20 degrees today I don't know if that's in my area or if that's in London um, but yeah Oh, I hurt my finger. <laughs> uh, just, what do they say? Just warning, if you're squeamish, look away now. So, I ended up cutting uh, part of my nail, <laughs> as you can see. So, it's starting to heal up nicely now. But, um, yeah, I was cutting cheese. And um, it, the knife, it just slipped and I felt a strange sensation, but I couldn't place it. So that's strange. Carry on cutting. And, uh, yeah, I was cutting through my nail and the skin beneath. So I would have thought it would have caused more pain. And it was like, as when I noticed what I'd done, that's when I felt pain. And started, for some unknown reason, jumping up and down in a blind panic. Literally blood spraying up the uh, in the kitchen <laughs> uh, where I was that uh, frightened um, and then once I finally got hold of myself and managed to get it to stop bleeding I just whacked the plaster on it I was too scared to look at it for two days so I kept that plaster on, wouldn't go anywhere near it and then I thought well the air's got to get to it if I want it to heal um, I don't want it going all gross underneath um underneath the plaster so yeah uh that's healing at the moment um i'm just praying that when the nail comes back that it doesn't do anything horrible like go through the finger or something messed up like that i'm really praying that doesn't happen because that will 
scare me and I am praying that um, my nail doesn't turn black and fall off because that is another thing I, I will have a panic attack if that happens I I don't like things like that at all um, I can watch God knows what on television um, the only thing I can't watch operation wise is a face transplant I tried to watch a live one of those and I think actually it was because it was too soon after my mum had passed that I tried watching it that it just completely freaked me out and I could not watch it so I think that's about the only thing and obviously um, really gross things like um, cluster verrucas and like skin things like that I don't like watching things like that either um, but yeah I can watch almost any kind of operation um, so <laughs> yeah um, so what I was going to say so that I've done I forgot to try chasing my blood so I thought I'd give it a full two weeks or close to so I did try calling them today then remembered it was Good Friday and nobody picked up so I doubt I'm going to now be able to contact anybody about the bloods until at least Tuesday now so because I don't think um, I don't think I'll be able to reach the hospital like on a Saturday um, like secretaries and stuff they don't really work do they um, most of the time uh, like on a regular department they'll go home for the weekend and for bank holidays and things like that so yeah um oh god i'm so tired i really really am it's insane and my what's it called um oh, jesus um hay fever has been playing up like quite badly as well i've been sneezing like crazy eyes have just been so itchy this one in particular is driving me mad right now um so yeah as soon as i've got those blood test results back i think i'll do another quick update um this isn't going to be a very long video because i haven't got a lot of information to relay to you um yeah last night i was getting on fine with the whole monitor this is what we are now so we're on friday now tuesday i had it on like fitted um a couple of times i have caught the machine wires like on cupboard doors it's been so annoying it's happened twice and then it like pulled a couple of the wires off it's like, oh, for christ's sake so I put it back on again everything was fine but last night well no backtrack the night before so thursday night i woke up once to the monitor going off like beep 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 something like that i don't know it was three beeps and it repeated a few times um on the thursday that just happened once but i checked all the wires and everything felt the um sticky bits everything felt absolutely fine not sure what set that off <coughs> sorry dry throat um and then last night three times three times when my partner was in bed with me the um alarm went off in the middle of the night and once it went off when he'd gone downstairs like for water or something it had gone off then too so four times all in all last night it was doing that beeping thing um it was doing the beeping thing and yeah all the wires were absolutely fine so i'm not sure why it would have done that i'm guessing um maybe because my heart rate fell below 50 for a while um it could have gone off i don't know when it alerts people to anything or possibly i did mention before sleep apnea um was something i thought i'd like to get investigated at some point because i do believe that i could possibly have that um i don't know if a halter monitor would pick that up i should imagine it would um maybe that's it maybe i stopped breathing for a few seconds and it went off really don't know uh one of the times though i do remember is I woke myself up by snorting and the alarms were going off immediately as well after that so could it have been um a pause of breath for too long possibly um I don't know it's something we'll have to keep an eye on I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't happen again uh 
tonight or the next few nights because that really did disturb my sleep and I don't sleep well anyway so I've had to take my ring off because um, the finger that I injured it actually does seem a bit swollen and I thought well considering the finger next to it is uh, the finger I wear my ring on um, I'd best take it off because I don't want that having to be cut off you know so I'll just take it off for like a week let the fi finger settle down and then put it back on if um it's looking more normal <laughs> size so yeah other than that I mean I've been keeping okay I have noticed um like because I've one of those smart watches um a few of the times not all the time I'm not looking every second of every day because I just don't have time for that um but a few of the times that I felt really really tired um and like I've been sitting at, and uh my heart rate has again gone to 46 47 um a couple of times but most of the time it's sort of hanging around the 50 um when I'm sitting like watching a bit of telly or something or what like watching my phone going through my phone so and those are the times I feel really tired so I think what it is is when I'm sitting at rest um my heart rate dips maybe a bit too low and bradycardia and maybe that's what's causing um me to feel tired a lot I mean that wouldn't surprise me. I did read up a little bit about it. I have a few times. Um, yeah, and that's definitely something it could be. Um, I'm not sure, though, because I've only been wearing smartwatches for about a year. Um, a little longer, maybe two. Coming up to two this summer, I think. Um, two years. Um, so I don't actually know how long um, my heart rate has been like that for I don't know because I did used to smoke um if if I have got bradycardia I don't know if it's um due to damage um through smoking or if I mean I've always had low lowish blood pressure except when I gave up smoking then it kind of went into what do they call it uh pre-hypertension the readings were coming up um as like that range whereas as a smoker and since um well, since, it's, since it's returned more back to normal my my um blood pressure is kind of on the low side i mean it's usually around early 100s very early like late 90s early 100s over 60 or so so yeah it's not not a high reading um and I forgot the point. <laughs> I've actually forgot the point I was trying to make. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if it could be to do with smoking or because I've naturally got a lower heart rate. Uh, definitely not because of being in any kind of good shape because, um, as I've said several times here, um, I'm not athletic at all. Like, I never have been. Um... I used to be fitter when I was younger, of course. Like, I'd have more stamina. Still have... I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I have, still. Like, when I go out... When we're in Wales, and, um... I... And, like, we're walking. I can, like, walk around for most of the day. Um... I'm trying to think if... Yeah, no, it did make me tired. It did make me tired when we're walking. Like... But, I mean, I could my endurance was good I suppose yeah my endurance was good uh, not so much the first year because I had a uh, no the second year even because I had chucked on a lot of weight and um, I went from uh, the year before that um, I went from about seven and a half stone all the way up to I think 13 so in just over a year little under two years so yeah I did chucked that on pretty fast that was my um uh, the combination of being on respiridone consta so the um injection intramuscular injection and um what was it sodium valparate um i was on those so 
Not sure which caused it. Could have been... They're both weight gainers. Um, maybe the fact being on both of them um, sort of... Sort of... Yeah, like, made it happen faster. It was like, every time I was being weighed, every couple of weeks, I'd put on another couple of kilos. Like, it really was that fast I was putting on weight. It was absolutely crazy. Um... And I had to sort of get a hold of myself and sort of... It actually felt like I was starving myself. Because what I did was I stopped snacking um, in order to lose the weight. So I just stuck to three meals a day and wasn't snacking. So I literally, it felt as though my stump, my throat was cut from my stomach. It really did. Like, I was hungry constantly. All I could think about was food and that... Um, what happened was, uh, so like I said, I cut out the snacks and then I started, well, I realised a few months later, maybe about six months later, I was still gaining weight. And I'm thinking, how am I still gaining weight? I've stopped snacking. What the hell is going on? Um, and then um, it became apparent uh, through relatives like my daughters and my partner, um, they caught me eating in the middle of the night so I began sleep eating so I was sabotaging my diet in my sleep <laughs> so I didn't believe it at first I thought nah nah they must be mistaken but no um yeah I ate half a Victoria sponge cake um in one sitting and ordinarily I struggled to eat one slice um so I don't know how the hell I managed to eat a half of one like ha half the whole cake uh, and it was like a you know, like the big, um, what do you call them? Uh, I'm so sorry, my nose. What do you call it? You know, like the big, um, you know, like say there's a cake and then you put that thing on it, like the lid and everything, and they're, they're like really big. It was the size of that. It really was. It was a massive cake and I ate half of it, you know, in an evening, um, middle of the night. And I didn't believe... I didn't think I had. Um, everyone was telling me I had. I didn't believe I had. Um, I was actually blaming one of my daughters. My, what oh, the hell is that? Oh uh, my, sorry. <laughs> one of my younger daughters. Um, I blamed her. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible. I was like, right, come on. If you did eat the cake in the middle of the night, just tell me, like, because there's, there's a lot of it gone missing. Um, and it was only later that day it got to about 7 p.m and i realized do you know what i'm not hungry like, i haven't been hungry the whole day and i haven't eaten all day like that's not normal i think about food all the time so then it dawned on me okay yeah i must have eaten the whole the half um of the cake myself um and then like a few times um i'd woken up and one of the times i think i told you before the pringles um I went to ha like I had some um, early evening, I don't know about five six p.m. And then I went to bed, woke up in the morning, and then maybe around noon, um, I went to have some more of my Pringles, and like there was only like about that much of the packet left. I was like, where the hell have they all gone? I only had about that much. That's about I don't know a fifth, a sixth of them the night before and I'm like now there's like an eighth left and I said to my partner I was like well no I didn't say to my partner actually I blame my daughter again I was like Sky I was like did you eat my crisps have you been eating my crisps and she's like no mum I was like come on right look I know I had a lot more than that before I went to bed yesterday and like more than half have gone like three quarters of them have gone like are you sure you didn't help yourself and she's like, no, I definitely didn't. And then my partner piped in. He was like, Sam, um, that was you. You came down last night and you didn't say hello. You just walked into the living room, sat down, picked up the crisps, started munching them. And then even when I went up to bed, like meaning him, he'd gone up to bed, he could hear me from upstairs still munching on those crisps for a good 10 minutes after he'd gone to bed. He could hear me. And then I'd fallen asleep down there. And um, taken myself up to bed in the middle of the night. And completely forgot about it. I didn't even know I'd done it. 
Um, and yeah, I think it was actually the Pringles. Can't remember what happened first, the Pringles or the cake. I think. Mm, can't remember. But and then there were other times there were things that I don't even eat. Uh, what was it? Something with nuts in. Um, and I don't eat nuts at all. I don't like them. I've only just started to like hazelnuts though. But I did like the praline like in chocolates before. So that's understandable. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I ate something with nuts in. Um, I, I was like, that's strange. Like I've n never wanted to eat them in my life. The few times I've eaten them, I've hated them. So I ate a whole thing with them in. Um, I've eaten chocolate with nuts in as well, and it's like I wouldn't ordinarily do that. Like fruit and nut. That used to be one of my mum. My mum used to like that one. She'd take the nuts out, but she'd eat the fruit in it. Um, yeah, and I was eating things like that, and it was like I don't know what's going on. So yeah, so that was happening. Um, um, and so I got put on another medication. I told my psychologist, "Look, this is happening." Well, my psychiatrist. I told him, I was like, look, this is happening. I'm eating in the middle of the night. I'm not losing weight. Um, I'm sleepwalking, sleep talking. Um, I was also having some, uh, what are they called? Night terrors. Um, not often, but I was having them. And I said, look, I said, I need something. And uh, they put me on trazodone. And trazodone actually was a bit of sort of like a miracle drug at first because um, it stopped me sleepwalking straight away stop sleepwalking um stop me sleep eating so i was actually able to i think the first three months of being on trazodone i i dropped over a stone so yeah that that got me losing weight quickly um not but not dangerously quickly so that's good um so yeah um and then um i came off of trazodone and then went back on it and it's not worked as well since. Um, so I still sleepwalk every now and then. Um, I haven't been sleep eating, but I get hungry at night sometimes. So about hmm, two o'clock in the morning, um, I'll just have something like a bowl of cereal or a yogurt or, you know, if there's crisps or chocolate, maybe crisps or chocolate. Um, that's my go-to. Um, I think it's just like sugar or salt that I'm craving at that time of night. Oh, that's another thing. I have actually been um, noting my blood sugar because, um, what was it? I'll find the dates and I'll let you know. But we'll say, for example, five days ago or so. Um, it was about five o'clock in the morning. Um... Um, I just felt so tired still and it's been awake hours I thought I know I'll just take my blood sugar see where it's at and don't get me wrong or anything I it was it was around the six I think it was around seven mark actually it was around seven and I hadn't had anything sweet or drink um, and then when I read it said it's supposed to be under something like 5.6 or 5.8 um, for someone who doesn't have diabetes and if it's over seven that is diabetes and I was like, oh no, like, that's terrible. So, um, yeah, I was following my blood sugar for, I think, about four days. Maybe five days I followed it. But at first I was taking my blood sugar in the morning, two hours after meals, and then also one in the night between 12 and 3 a.m. if I was up. Um, and I was making sure not to eat or drink before any of those nighttime ones so it would be a fasting one um yeah and then my sister said actually that she had gestational diabetes when she was pregnant and she said what they told her to do was actually not take the blood two hours after eating but take them one hour after eating so i think that was on day two or three of me monitoring might have been towards day day three so what i did for just another couple of days i took the blood an hour after eating and at two hours after so I'm covered like all bases um yeah and I think I was using like an app called my sugar 
and I think by the end of it, it estimated that my HbA1c was about 38 point something, maybe point 0.1 or something. So, yeah. Um, I will get those figures and I will have them ready for next time we can discuss those. So, I am actually thinking, when I start getting a few more of you lovely people um, watching my videos, I may start doing a live um not too sure about that at the moment i might um i'm think i'm just thinking about it at the moment i don't have many subscribers i think actually the last time i checked which was maybe about four days ago i had one one subscriber <laughs> uh so yeah we'll see how that goes once i hit a certain number i don't know quite what that number is 10 at least then maybe we can think about doing a live um, instead of me doing these videos by myself and then you know I can actually get a conversation going with you guys and like um, interact with you because that would just be great I'd like to hear your spin on things and thoughts going through your head that would be that would be great <laughs> um, so it's been 26 minutes now slightly longer than uh, I've been doing my videos so I'm going to go for now um, but I will see you next week. I'm not going to commit to a day. Uh, my halter monitor goes back on Tuesday. Um, so I will try to chase my blood to Tuesday as well. But might end up being Wednesday that I do that. Because there's a few things going on in the house at the moment. Um, like workmen. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to do the videos. Unless I do them at night. But because their workmen will be here all day, um, I will be—I won't be able to go for a nap. So I am going to be exhausted. <laughs> so I will definitely do a video next week. Aim for Wednesday, um, and we'll see. Yeah, uh, lovely talking to you all again. Well, at you again. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, and um, hit that notification bell as well. That would be great. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye. Hmm.